Oh, hi there, brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Hello, everyone else that watches this channel. Probably some Freemasons, probably some uh, people out there. When doing these videos, when doing this research, sometimes people do like all the signs and symbols in the agendas, and it's very easy to tell they're in the quote-unquote club. But sometimes they don't do much. They, they seem pretty regular for the most part. But when you've been doing this for a while, when we've been doing this for a while, even if they do one of the signs and symbols, that's suspect, that's sus. That is a red flag, a red herring, whatever you want to say. It is suspicious. Because there's a lot of people that say, I'm a Christian, and then they do certain signs and symbols of Freemasonry, which contradicts the, with their Christian walk. No one is perfect here going, I'm the best Christian who walks completely sin-free and blah, blah, blah. And some people would argue that. That's fine. Have a, have a conversation in the comment section. But an example would be American musician Chris Walker. I don't know him personally. I don't know his heart, just like most of the people on this channel. But I do know that signs, symbols, and agendas rule the world. They're definitely something, something to research and look into. And it's not just nothing, a conspiracy theory or whatever else you want to say. So Chris Walker, American musician, right? Little Google blurb. He's a, he's a 1992 Billboard hot, hot 100 Top 40 hit, whatever, whatever. It doesn't really matter. He's a somewhat famous musician. He's seen here wearing a nice hat with his vest and looking pretty dapper, right? But what else does he do? He's on an album cover here that mentions the word love, right? If someone says, I'm a Christian, or if someone says, God is love, or I'm in, I, I love and I love you, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're on the right path. People can say whatever they want. There's a lot of liars in this world. There's a lot of deceivers in this world. So... <coughs> Pardon me. So Chris Walker, the musician, Chris Walker, we're in this love together. Well, I hope so. But what is Chris Walker doing? I'm sure you can all see already. He's doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra. It's a funny sounding name. The index fingers are pressed together. A lot of times it's pushed to their lips. This case it's not, but he's got his other fingers interlocked. He's doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra. In yoga, it's a, it's a gesture that's supposed to represent supreme enlightenment. This goes along with the beginning, Genesis. Satan the serpent deceiving Adam and Eve. Take a bite out of the apple. Don't listen to God. Listen to me, Satan. You will have eyes to see. You will be as gods. You will not die. That kind of thing. It really is right from the beginning. This so-called enlightenment... A lot of people want to feel like they're enlightened in this world because it makes them feel good about themselves. It makes them feel superior to others, which is a mistake. We should humble ourselves and walk with God. Once more, I don't know Chris Walker or his heart. God does. I would love for him to be a true Christian, to be saved, to go to heaven, and to spread the gospel of truth around. But it seems like he's posing here, looking pretty dapper, and then he's got an album cover or whatever this is doing a gesture that is anti-Christ. To you, it may seem like nothing. I'm just a conspiracy theorist, Josh Sparrow channel. What a whack job. What a conspiracy theorist. This guy needs mental help. I am pointing out things that I can show repeatedly over and over again. My story about the gospel, about what's going on in the world... It doesn't sway left or right or this or that. Like I mentioned before, if, if someone is a liar, they're like George Costanza from Seinfeld. It's hard to balance lies because you got to like remember a bunch of stuff and, oh, did I tell this person this or that kind of thing? I hope you know what I'm trying to say. So when it comes to the truth, which is Jesus Christ is the truth, the Bible is the truth, the biblical world is the truth. I don't need to do a balancing act. I can just come on and say, yep, Chris Walker, musician, what's he doing? Well, that's what he's doing, and I've been keeping track of this stuff. I am not saying anything like mean to him. I am not judging him unfairly. He's doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra. Like, I, I didn't make him do it. I'm, rep I'm reporting on it. I'm pointing it out. I know many of you on this channel get this, and you realize that I'm a person that's not full of hate. I do hate what God hates. 
I do not like lies and liars and deception. Th that is a real problem in the world and it's leading people to hell. So I'm concerned about that because I don't want people to go to hell. I don't personally want to go to hell. And I, again, my worst enemy, I don't want them to go to hell. I want God to take care of it and he will. I am not someone out here that is like wanting people to go to hell or wanting them to suffer in any way. I don't like deception, so I'm going to point it out. And this hand gesture is deception, believe it or not. It may seem very subtle. It may seem like nothing to you watching this video. If you're watching just one or two of my videos, you haven't seen documented cases of these signs, symbols, and agendas over and over and over again. That's what makes it true. When you like, right? If people want to talk about science, not the Freemason science, but the real science of how things work in the world, if you can test something over and over and over again and you still get the same result, isn't that science, right? Like, I'm not saying that this is exactly science here, but you know what I'm saying, right? When we see this over and over and over again with people, there's something to it. You should research it, you should be aware. I don't have it all figured out, but I'm pointing people in the direction of Jesus, and I'm pointing out that even if people have a, have a album or song, say, we're in this love together, sounds nice, right? But it's deception with this stupid hand gesture, right? It's, it's hypocritical. It is anti-Christ, even though it doesn't see, like, it's not Marilyn Manson standing here ripping apart a Bible or something. It seems like a, you know, I don't know what kind of singer he is. If he's like a gospel singer or like an R&B singer, I'm not sure exactly. I don't know much about him, but I do know that this symbol is not for Jesus Christ. It is against him. So brothers and sisters, you know, I, I kind of rant sometimes in these videos. There's a lot to say. And with just two photos, right? Looking like a nice dapper man here, well-dressed, looking professional, and then this gesture. Sometimes I'm not sure if they realize exactly what's going on here. Some people could just be naive in getting into this. And again, Freemasonry is most likely involved. But this gesture, enlightenment, that's very prideful. If people think they have enlightenment, and a lot of times the third eye and chakras and new age and old mystery religions go right along with this stuff. I, you know, I don't do this gesture. Sometimes I've done it just to like mock these people where I'm like, hmm, are you so enlightened and do a little pose with it or whatever. But again, I'm not doing this gesture ever to be like, look at me. I have enlightenment. No, I have faith in Jesus Christ, his death, burial, and resurrection, his shed blood on the cross. You know, that's what my belief is in. That's my enlightenment. That's my truth. That like, that's the truth for everyone. God will open your eyes. And I, you know, I don't like to use the word enlightenment because it involves this stuff. But the true enlightenment is believing in Jesus to have your eyes open, to see the biblical world, to see how deceived things are, to see the truth that sets you free. Brothers and sisters, everyone else, God bless you.